Hello everyone, Noisy here aka Icon7 and today I'm gonna show you guys a updated tutorial on how to iron tech reverse on a controller in Dead by Daylight. Now here are some examples. Now, when it comes to the sensitivity settings, it's the exact same as the normal iron tech tutorial that I've made in my previous video. Now, as you can see right here, 60 sensitivity is very good when it comes to iron tech reverse as well as the normal iron tech. But once again, 360ing will be a lot harder because the sensitivity is very low, but it works very good for the iron tech and the iron tech reverse. Secondly, we have 75% and this is probably the best one when it comes to iron tech reversing as well because the sensitivity is not too low for the 360 and it's not too high for the iron tech reverse. Thirdly, we have 90 to 100% sensitivity. Now, this is a very high sensitivity when it comes to iron tech as well as iron tech reversing, but it will still work but not as smooth as 75 and 60%. But once again, the 360 will look very good because the higher your sensitivity, the better you can 360. Now, when it comes to the movement controls, what I want you to do at the beginning before you start iron tech reversing is try and do a 180. As you can see right here, look at your character from a above perspective and run while doing a 180 and stand still. This is the beginner version of the 180. Now, once you've got this, try and do the 180 like this. Run, 180, run, 180, run, 180. Now, here are the controls for the running 180. You hold your running button, you run 180. Once you've got the 180, let's move on to the next step and probably the most difficult step and that is the zigzag controls. Now when it comes to the iron tech reversing, as you can see right here, running and 180ing, after this you need to move your left and your right joystick the opposite direction from each other at the same time. But of course you have to curve your left joystick upwards to move forward. Now, as you can see right here, you have to move both joysticks the opposite direction, left and right, left and right, but your left joystick needs to be curved upwards, as you can see right here on the controls that I'm going to show you right now. Now, as you can see, you hold the running button, you move both joystick the opposite direction, but the left joystick needs to touch the upper edge, of course, to move forward. Keep in mind that your right joystick needs to move horizontally. Now, there is also a standing still variation. Now, if you want to skip the 180 and stuff, you can also do it while standing still. Now, as you can see right here, standing still with your character, the only thing what you have to do is the zigzag. Now, I had a lot of people asking me in the comments saying, but no, see, there is a wide and there is a narrow variation. How does that work? Now, when it comes to the wide and the narrow iron tech variation, it has nothing to do with the sensitivity settings. It has to do with how fast you move your controller joysticks. Now, as you can see right here, on the narrow one, I'm moving them a bit quicker, and on the wide one, I'm moving them a bit slower. But keep in mind, guys, don't move your joysticks too fast and don't move your joysticks too slow. 
What I also want to mention is that it doesn't matter if you are on PS4, PS5 or Xbox controller, the controls and the sensitivity settings are the exact same. And that's pretty much it guys. But before ending this video, I want to show you guys some examples with the old as well as the new animation because I still had people asking me, no see is it possible to do it with the new animation? And yes, it is possible. Nothing has changed except for the animation, but the sensitivity settings and controls are still the same. So with all of that being said guys, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Take care.